This is Zach, and today I'm bringing y'all a kind of a method to how you to do your shadows <clears throat> and your lighting effects that go around your shadows. And this has been like a very popular thing going on. People want to know how to do these shadows. Um, if I can get over my second screen. All right, so. I'm just going to use this Tom Brady example. Alright. So, see here how I have it pretty much flattened down. Okay. I'll go ahead and I'll clear this out and show y'all. Okay, take that off too. So, what you want to do is you want to get a layer. You want to have your player, PNG, whatever you're doing to get a shadow effect. You can do this on pretty much whatever if you want to get your like base shadow so you're going to come here and you're going to get your paint tool so you see how it's a full circle right now make sure that you're on black all right so you're going to do a little right click and you're going to squinch this down you're going to make it as flat as possible as how you think it needs to be and then you need to size it up with the png so, let's say right there. You come here and you want to like align it. Boom. Look at that. Oh, it looks pretty good. So, my method of doing this, I like to add different layers so they're not all jumbled up on there. When I go to lower the opacity or change things, I want to make sure each shadow can have its own, it can be adjusted if need be. So, well, let's redo that one. That one didn't look as good as the other one. I need to kind of bring it down just a little bit. But, alright. Now, this is really important if you want to make realistic looking shadows. Go ahead, do a third layer if you need to. Then you need to stretch this out. Alright. I'm going to say, bring it up a little bit more. You can also use your bracket, uh, the bracket keys kind of get a little bit more of an adjustment that way you're not sitting there trying to use a slider and you may need to flatten it down a little bit more right so we'll say right there right you got a pretty good little idea and you're gonna go in and boom well, make sure you line it up that's important make sure it's kind of like on, a, on the surface of where you're going for. So that middle shadow, right, what I usually like to do with these shadows is I like to lower the opacity on there and kind of make it where it's got less depth on it so you can bring out the lower parts of the PNG where the shadows really stand out a little bit better. That gives it a little bit more of a subtle shadow so it's not like a blank space in it. And then you want to just merge them down merge 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 them down they'll all stay the same on the opacity you can change the opacity on your uh, on your first two shadows that you did it's whatever your major preference is on that so now to get player treatment shadow you want to go in you want to select the pixels of your PNG you want to create a new layer and layer mask it and then what you want to do is you're going to want to go in with black alright we're going for this look right here, okay? That look right there. You can go back to your brush tool. And you want to come up, make it full circle. It doesn't really matter the size. So, me personally, I feel like every time I use like hard light and I go in and fill in the mask. And you lower the opacity, or low, not the opacity, but lower the fill. I usually like taking it down in between like 55 to 70. Anywhere between there that I feel comfortable with. Like, it doesn't matter. That's where I like it. And you want to come in with your erase tool. And you want to hit the edges, okay? It doesn't even be that big, but you want to hit the edges. Okay, you just go around it. 
and you'll start to see how the depth of the uh, edges come out with the light and how it contrasts with the shadow on the player treatment here. So you just want to go all the way around. This is my blues. Because I'm back down on my own again. And so when I go all the way around and I get up to like towards the helmet part, the head, I really don't like, um, I really don't like keeping the face dark. So I'll kind of go in, show a little bit of face, kind of keep somewhat of the helmet dark. Where you know if you're going for like a specific lighting pattern, so like let's say you want to go in and you want to just get in here and get like the high depths on everything, right? So you want to come in. And you want to hit where you want the light to shine, if you will. Well, not too much. I'll go, I mean, I'll go more <clears throat> in depth on it. I was just trying to make a real quick video, show you guys how you can do your shadows. And this one here too. Let me show you this. If you really like want the player reflection, like the shadow reflection, like hitting the ground, so it just being like that right there, you want to go in and you want to do is uh, select your pixels, make another layer, layer mask. Well, not layer mask that. You don't have to layer mask that, but just go in and fill. And you want to go in with the color, obviously. Go to black, obviously. And what you want to do here is, you can also do the same method too for the uh, for the uh, filling in and going in with the brush tool and filling in your player mask. Um, me personally, I just I'm hard headed and stubborn, so I like to uh, work harder and not smarter. So you want to pretty much vertical flip this, and you're going to, have to go in with this. Well, the perspective. Now you may have to zoom out by like a lot. All right. I'm just saying this right here. For instance, you can go with that little style, like straightforward. You can also go back and have it coming in at an angle. But me personally, every time I've done this, I like going forward with it. So you want to get your perspective, kind of get it where it's looking like you've got equal ground on that surface right there. slide that layer where it's supposed to be on the outside bring it down so it lines up so go. Oh, my computer's being slow this morning all right someone got an idea of it all right you want to go in you want to blur it you want to go in uh gouache and blur it washing for I guess that's what it's called I've been doing this for eight years and I've never been able to pronounce that right so excuse me if I slaughter it <clears throat> and then for that bring that fill down hit that blur and then you got a nice little reflection of the player cut out with the shadow going forward you can also go back forth whatever but that's pretty much what I want to show you guys today is how to do an effective shadow effects for your designs. I also want to catch up with you guys on some things that's been going on and why I haven't been posting as much here recently. So I'm in the midst of getting out of the army. I have literally like two months and two weeks left. So right now I'm kind of getting everything figured out, getting ready to move back down home. Uh, I'm doing an internship now I started. Uh, so I haven't been kind of doing everything, staying on top of the designs or YouTube videos and things like that. Uh, I know I said I was going to do a QA, and a I know I said I was going to do podcasts, I was going to put out more speed arts and do more tutorials. Um, when this, these next two months are over with guys, I promise you, I'll, 
I'm going to be able to make a lot more videos. I'll be able to stay on top of everything because I'll be focusing 100% towards school and also school as well. Um, I didn't really uh, get admission. Oh, I didn't get accepted through admissions for Auburn for the spring, so or not spring, but for the fall semester. So it's not looking like I'll be in Auburn come this fall. But with that being said, I'm going to go and bust my tail in for the <clears throat> for the fall semester. I'm sorry. Yeah, for the fall semester, get all my credits I need to get, do all my core classes I need to get, and then I'll be in Auburn. Like, hopefully, the next following spring semester or that next following year. Um, but as soon as I'm out of the army, like I'm 100% focused on school and taking this career path that I want to do with sports design yes, and just graphic design in general. Like, if you know me and you've known how long I've been doing this, you know this is my passion. You know how bad I want it. Um, but yeah, guys, it's just kind of my current update. Um, and I'll try to put up more videos here soon. You know, more tutorials if y'all want to see some. But we got a good old Tom Brady manipulation design. You've seen this design too in the past. It's been on my, my uh, Facebook, not my Facebook. Well, it's been all over my social medias. Uh, you know, this is one of the very first designs that kind of made me improve last year, if you will. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to drag this video out any longer. It's been 11 minutes. <laughs> I gotta go in and edit this, but I will see you guys on the next upload. Follow me on my social media to keep up to date. I'll be posting designs at least every other day. Uh, but YouTube videos, I'm gonna try to get back into the gist of it. So, see you guys on the next upload.